Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I have a fun synthesis question for you. So we need to synthesize 1,4-dioxane using acetylene as the only source of carbons in our molecule. Well, first of all, what exactly are those molecules that we need to work with? 1,4-dioxane looks like this, and that is our target molecule, so I abbreviated TM for short. And acetylene is this one, it is the simplest alkyne, we can also call it ethyne if you want to use the IUPAC name so that is our starting material, or SM for short. Now, since we need to use acetylene as the only source of carbons in our molecule, that means that everything that we are going to be using to build together our cycle on the left got to come from our acetylene. So I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm planning my synthesis. Anything that I'm going to bring in will have to be built from the acetylene. So looking at my target molecule over here, what I'm seeing is that the functional group that we have here here within the cycle, that is going to be an ether. And normally, when it comes to ethers, we are going to synthesize those via the Williamson ether synthesis if we have the corresponding alcohol that we can easily convert into an alkoxide, and of course we need an alkyl halide, which should be a primary alkyl halide. So we can synthesize this ether by making these two bonds at the same time if we have a diol on one end and the dihalide on the other end. So that gives me the following two predecessors that I'm going to feed into my Williamson ether synthesis to make my target molecule. Now, the question is, how am I going to make each of those molecules? Because I remember that I got to start with acetylene and make everything that comes into my synthesis from acetylene. While the diol I can easily make from the corresponding alkene via the dihydroxylation reaction, and I have a couple of options how I could do that. And my vicinal dihalide I am also going to be able to make from the corresponding alkene as well via a simple halogenation reaction. So both of my intermediates are going to be coming from the same molecule molecule, making my synthesis significantly easier. So lastly, I need to figure out how to make an alkene from acetylene, and that part is quite trivial. I can make my alkene from acetylene via the partial reduction. So now, assembling everything together into one synthetic scheme, I'm going to have my starting material, acetylene, reacting with the hydrogen on the Lindlor's palladium, giving me the corresponding alkene, ethylene, or if you like the IUPAC name, it's going to be ethene. Then I'm going to take my alkene and I'm going to brominate that, making the corresponding dihalide, vicinal dihalide, 1,2-dibromoethane. And another equivalent of my alkene I'm going to subject to dihydroxylation. I can use osmium oxide in million different modifications of that reaction, or we could maybe use potassium permanganate in cold basic conditions, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which conditions I'm going to choose, whichever I choose, it's going to give me the corresponding diol, ethylene glycol here, or 1,2-ethane diol if you want IUPAC name for that. Then we are going to take our diol and treat that with excess of a strong base like sodium amide or better yet sodium hydride, which going to give me the corresponding alkoxide with the two negatively charged oxygens. And finally I'm going to take my double charged alkoxide and treat that with my dihalide to build the final molecule to close close that up into a cycle. So that is going to be a sequence of two SN2 steps, where first oxygen is going to be displacing one bromine, and then the second oxygen is going to be displacing the other bromine, giving us our final product, looking like this. Pretty easy and straightforward. So what did you guys think about this synthesis? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you for watching till the very end. Hit the like button if you learned something new today, and to help promote this video so more students can see it, subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next, and I will see you tomorrow!